Oh, you have global gifts to Humba. Sure, I just throw in. See, I can talk like that too. It's like she just removes all the prepositions. What's the transformation for this level? Is it another inanimate object? Why, yes, it is! This is actually kind of funny because technically this was in the first game. Uh, basically, you are... Uh, there's a couple of those puzzle things similar to what you do to unlock levels in this game, except they're a lot harder because you got to twist and turn them. And yeah, so you use those, and you beat all of them, and you get a special cheat called Wishy Washy Banjo, which basically just has you as the exact same thing, except now you're a washing machine. Oh, and but this time it's better because you can throw underwear at people. Wow, I can't believe I killed that guy. Is this homing underwear? I would like to use the elevator, please. Thank you. So, you probably saw a lot of those bunny-looking things that were really whiny. Uh, that's the main thing, the main objective that this washer has. So we brought this thing down earlier, and I'm really not a fan of this guy, because you can clearly see that he's in front of the control panel for the crusher status, which means he was totally trying to kill us when we were in there getting that... Uh, Jiggy earlier with banjo only. Yeah, Kazooie's just like, just rock your shorts, pal. We ain't got all day. And then even though we only cleaned his clothes, uh, his body is also clean now, too. Uh, I'm not gonna try and explain how that works. Um, okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a common theme, isn't it? Back to the second floor, but not back to Wumba's place. Obviously, we just we just got started. I do kind of like the uh, sound of the wheels on this washing machine. It's just kind of a pleasing sound to me, I guess. So since we already unlocked this area, normally you wouldn't be able to get up here because of your wimpy, wimpy jump. So we're gonna do a heavy soil wash. You know, it really would be kind of neat to have a mobile washer like this, though you would need to have, like, I don't know, a water tank attached to it, and we clearly just have connect a connection on the side of it that's not, not attached to anything. Of course, now that I'm saying that, there probably are such things as mobile washers, and they probably use them for places that don't have, you know, electricity or running water easily accessible, I guess gonna open ourselves a door. Don't know why we needed this grand cutscene for a door that's literally right in front of us. Because that is the door that's right in front of us. And luckily for us, big green monsters that live in these toxic pools that uh, don't want to eat washing machines. I'm just going on a washing tour today. Just call me the washing ton. I don't know. <laughs> Washing machines definitely do not weigh a ton, but they kind of weigh a ton. Catch my drift. So I know he just told me how many more guys I have to wash, but I don't remember. But there is one on each floor, I'm fairly certain of that. I can promise you that. If the impressions and references are annoying, well, I don't know what to tell you because half of my speech in real life is references to random stuff. Alright, um, the buttons! If any of you have played Sonic Spinball, 
I kind of like it as a pinball game just because it's hard to die because you're Sonic, you can jump and there's like a platform in between the two flippers so if you fall through you just jump right up. But if you're really slow on the, bu on the buttons, then some big monster comes out and attempts to eat you so then you have this little animation of Sonic like trying to keep the monster's mouth open as the monster's trying to eat him, and then on the screen it says, THE BUTTONS! Which is basically just your clue to randomly tap buttons as fast as you can to escape from the monster. This is probably the most pointless person to wash their clothes because they're totally going to get dirty again because they're sitting in a giant room full of coal. Okay, we got two more. And I haven't been to the fourth or fifth floors yet, so... That's what we'll be doing. And grabbing some honeycombs. Every time I play this game, I think there's something else in the boiler room, but there isn't. Probably because the only way to get to the boiler room is by being a washing machine. Yeah, if you try to use the elevator as anything other than the washing machine, or if you try to go into that door, they're like, ding dong, you have to be mechanical personnel. Which makes me wonder if they just gave, like, job offers to a bunch of random machines that can talk and move around. Except, oh wait a minute, they totally did because of all the, uh, bolts and washers. Not me washer, like the uh, metal disc washer. You know, try to come and attack me. Now that I think about it, there might not be a skiffy on this floor, because this just takes me into where that jiggy from the shooting the barrels area was. Or quality control, but I pretty much don't ever call it that. And there's a random jump pad over there for almost no reason. The only reason I can see for it being there is if you do some weird jumping thing and you get over there and get stuck, but I'm fairly certain if you do that exact same jumping thing and get over there, you can use it to get back out. Okay, so apparently no skivvies on this floor like I thought there were. So let's head back to the elevator. I said, let's head back to the elevator. Elevator? Alright, there it is. There's definitely one on the fifth floor. And now that I remember, there is another one on the first floor that I haven't been to yet, so... We are fine on skivvies. Yeah, we can already hear him whining. I don't know, who has who has the better whine-like sound? Pano from the from the pawn shop in Jolly Rogers Lagoon or the Skivvies in this in this level. We have a ooh, and then we have a ooh. Like one is just annoyed to be around and the other is just disgusted. Which I guess fits both characters. Just one more Skivvy workmate. This is where the workers' quarters are, though apparently there's really only one living type of worker at this plant, which are these rabbit things. Everything else seems to be those speakers with eyes, or the cameras with eyes, or those these annoying robots that chase me around. More than us and bolts that we've already discussed. Oh wait, there are those. They're all that. They're all those guys with the yellow jumpsuits and the wrenches. Forgot about those. Here's a fridge with refrigerator magnets from other rare games. We got uh, Perfect Dark, Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong, and that one on the right, I want to say, is from Jet Force Gemini, maybe? That poster, that 
was on the right uh, was from Jet Force Gemini, but that logo is not all that familiar with me. I have not played Jet Force Gemini. Well, it's time to stop being a washer for about... Hmm... a minute. We've got another thing that's a multi-step process that we got to take care of. So step one, stop being a washer and start being Banjo and Kazooie. Okay, step two, go find Mumbo and start being Mumbo. This is gonna be a super crazy magic combo, if you will. Or a combo wombo. Alright, step three, go to that one mumbo pad that I dropped down from a higher floor. You know the one I'm talking about, right? So the way this room works is that we have a giant electromagnet here and a really big switch that doesn't look like it, but it requires a lot of weight. And what's the one thing in this game that has a lot of weight? Uh, I think you know. Anyway, step three, use Mumbo to do his other thing that he gets to do in this level. See, we've expended our uh, Bobo, because we've done all the things that we can do with Mumbo in this level. Yeah, it has an auto-fixing program. Not really sure what that would be. Maybe it's uh, something that turns it off and on again a whole bunch of times for 90 seconds. Alright, step four, go back to being Bear and Bird. Step five, turn back into a washing machine again. Step six, go to that room with the switch. Step seven, hope that you're not out of time and hit the darn switch already. Step 8. Figure out just what the heck was behind that door that they made us go through all that to open. And I'll be doing Step 8 next time. See you guys later.